My name is Barbie the Welder, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I make scrap metal art, a uh, small sculpture. Uh, I'm going to make a, a chopper style motorcycle just using scrap pieces. So to start off with, I have my material. And it is a pile of rusty treasure that I collect. I keep it in a bucket and there is just all kinds of stuff. There's nuts and bolts and small pieces I can't throw out from projects I make. But all that stuff right there, I just, I save it. And then when it's time to do a sculpture, I dump the bucket out on my bench. I sort out the pieces I'm looking for and then I weld them together. So the first thing I'm going to look for for making a small motorcycle is usually tires and then I can build the whole sculpture from the tires. So what I have found is I have these giant industrial uh, nuts and they're, they've are they been uh, tic tac together. I was going to use it for another project. It didn't turn out the way I wanted to. So I'm going to use one of these for the back tire. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to use my um, my air tool to uh, with the cutoff wheel. I'm just going to cut those welds and just going to use one of them. That'll be a back tire. I have a greasy, greasy and semi-rusty gear. I'm not sure where uh, what it came out of. I did find it in a scrap yard. I love finding stuff like this. It's an absolute jackpot for me. So that's got to be cleaned up, and I use a wire brush. First, I use a, um, I'll go ahead and use a shop cloth to do that, and then I'll wire brush it to try to get most of the grease out. Problem with most of the gears are that the, um, the grease end up getting kind of baked into it. So what I do is I just end up turning up the heat and just welding kind of through some of the grease. It's scrap art. It happens. Um, now you do your best to make sure that your welds, absolutely your welds have to be solid, but um, sometimes it's, you just can't get all that grease out because of the way it just ends up getting kind of kind of baked in. So my next um, my next piece that I have found so far is this um, this piece of chain, and this chain is I think it is from a motorcycle. Once again, it's just it's stuff I I find. I've got piles of it just laying all over the place. Um, I usually I uh, can remember where it comes from. It says 50 Acme USA. At least it's made in the USA. Much respect for that. So, with that put aside, that also needs to be cleaned up with a uh, shop cloth and a wire brush, the best I can. And I have, there are a couple bolts here. I'm going to use these for the front forks. And those are pretty much clean. I still have to find the, um, the handlebars. And what I gotta do is I just have to look through this pile here and find what would work best for for handlebars. Oh, that's a great little gear. Won't work for handlebar, but I sure do like that. I like that. I don't know if it'll look good. Uh, we've got two little pieces here that are ornamental iron. They've been cut. They're about the same length. So something like that might work. We might be able to take that and uh, grind it down to where it, it might fit a little bit better. So I'm going to set those aside for now. And we are going to get cutting the, uh, the, bolt, the nuts apart so that we can get the back tire to uh, we'll, we'll lay it out on the bench and we'll see how it looks once we get that taken care of. Now that we have all our parts cleaned up, I am going to use my MIG welder to weld, uh, weld the parts together. I start with the chain. This chain here, I am going to shape it into the, the body of the bike. So let me go ahead and do that. So 
Let's see what we have. We are going to get that welded up.
baby. See if we can get a back and shot.
full-time metal sculptor. I also teach classes on intro to welding, small metal sculpture, and large metal sculpture. If you're interested in taking any of those classes or just checking out information, head over to my website, barbiethewelder.com. There's a tab on there for classes, and uh, go ahead and check it out. And uh, the classes are one-on-one, -on -one so that you get 100% um, of my time, you get all the information that you need, and you should walk away feeling confident and uh, in welding and making metal sculpture. So I appreciate you taking your time to check out the video. Thank you very much. 